Okay, so here's a video for people wishing to add a a reference plane to, which is based on the point cloud rather than um, any other 3D objects or anything or native SolidWorks objects you have. This is to create a reference plane based on the point cloud, and as Vsys allows you to add these unlimited size point clouds, this is going to teach you that. So here you can see we have a uh, it's a pump but there's a pipe section here and if I just make it kind of vertical here you can see that this section is on a slope so if you were using the standard uh, front top and right planes and you have aligned your point cloud uh, to front top and plane shown in a separate video this you can't draw from this um, straight away because you're going to be drawing from a plane that is straight and this is at an angle so what you're going to need to do is generate this reference plane so one of the things you have to do it is a native SOLIDWORKS option but under a view here uh, toolbars you'll see this one called reference geometry okay so that needs to be enabled it possibly already is but that produces this um, toolbar here as you can see and if I just hover the mouse it says this plane and adds a reference plane in this instance that reference plane shown there as a uh, model tube will be our point cloud so first thing we need to do is add some points here which are going to be our reference points so you need we need three points here so I'm going to make the point cloud I'm going to up the quality and I'm going to make it point size bigger just so we get some density here so I can it's easier for me to click um, I can see more clearer and I'm not clicking through the point cloud um, you could do this selection here using the native point option with SOLIDWORKS but it does not snap to the point cloud so you could be clicking and find you've actually clicked in the background somewhere or clicked onto something else so you do want to use um, our point option here so under point clouds um, select the pen here well first thing you need to do is just make sure the sketch is in 3D so 3D sketch um, and click add it's now highlighted uh, so it would just stay allowing you to click point so if I just go around here you can see it's snapping to the point cloud I can't, I can't click anywhere else it's only on the point cloud so if I just click a point there I'll uh, hold the middle mouse button here just to make sure I'm happy with that yep I am so slightly click here at the top of this section Okay, again, I'm happy. Just moving it around to make sure you're happy. And I'm going to put one over here. Move the mouse around. Yep, very happy with that. Um, I'm going to turn off the pieces add option there, the pen. And if I just to draw around, select these, you can see these are native um, SOLIDWORKS points. Okay, so what we need to do now is use this option here plane so you just select that this is native SOLIDWORKS um, and it's telling you first second and third reference and it shows you colors I guess you could change all this if you should wish but all I'm going to do is hover the mouse select that's this one this one you can see it's already drawing what the plane will look like and that one so now if I rotate round, you can see I have a perfect um, plane here not based on front, uh, down and left, but based on the angle of this cut section of this pipework. Perfect. Click the OK option. If not, click X, redo it yourself. Um, and there we have a plane. It's called plane one. You can rename that. That's all part of SOLIDWORKS. There it is. There's our new plane. And it's perfect. So now you could do your extrusions and drawings using SOLIDWORKS, which would be your normal workflow based on that plane, not front, top or right, but based on this newly created plane, which you could rename, say, pipe, 20 degree angle or something, whatever you wish. Um, if you go over to slices, you do have another video on slices. But what I'm going to show you here is if I just click um, plane is selected, important you can see it's selected and and use this option here slice from plane just hover the mouse it tells you that click um, just selected that it's created us a, a slice now I could change the width of this slice get this much smaller section here 
and I could change the step to be much smaller as well and now if I just click here we are stepping through that let's make this much smaller it's still way too big so it's centimeters so there we can see it's going through that we're slicing through okay at that new plane you've created here so that's very useful as well so not only have we created a plane that you can now uh, do your native drawings from at that angle you could also create a slice based on that plane as you've seen in the other videos but it's just showing you it's from one that you've created maybe very helpful to people